Hey, what is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez, and I believe this is episode 16. And today we are going to be talking about something in Formula One. All right, so where do we begin? So this week, earlier this week, it was announced that Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari have parted ways. They will part ways after the 2020 season. As of right now in this episode, we don't know what's going to happen to Sebastian Vettel. Whether he goes to Mercedes or he's going to retire. I know what some of you guys are asking. What about other teams? Well, apparently from what I heard, I, it was either McLaren or Renault that Vettel wasn't going to get one of those teams. I don't remember what it was. Probably McLaren. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, that's the uh, Sebastian Vettel update. We don't know what's going to happen to him after 2020. And the other big news, which is pretty much the same thing, um, who's going to get which ride? So it's been officially announced that Carlos Sainz is going to go with Ferrari next year. And personally, I think Carlos Sainz deserved his Ferrari ride. Why? Because with a middle class team, not middle class team, with a mid pack team like Toro Rosso or McLaren, he's been consistent and awarding points oftenly with those teams. He's a great driver, and I can't wait to see him do very well with Ferrari next year. I can't wait to see him win some races. He really deserves it. Awesome driver. Ferrari made a good decision as long as they don't, I don't know, do what they did with Ruben Barrichello or Vettel. I don't know, the stupid team motor crap from Ferrari. I think Carlos Santos did good because I think Ferrari wants young teams, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because they got Charles Leclerc and he, and I think he did, I believe he did well last year. Uh, he did well. However, there were some races he could have won, but hey, things happen. But I believe Leclerc will win more races this year. But that is not what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so I woke up earlier this morning. I woke up this morning um, seeing the news that my favorite Formula One driver, Daniel Ricciardo, is going to go to McLaren for 2021. If you... And as a, and this is exciting for me because my second favorite driver happens to be Lando Norris. And right now he's a McLaren as well. So my two favorite drivers are Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris. And to see them being teammates, I'm so excited to see Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris being teammates. Um, they're great drivers. They got a very fun personality. I know everyone's going to be like, 2021 is going to be meme Laren because Ricardo and Norris are the, the funniest people on, in Formula 1. But on the racing side, they're good. And also, why am I also excited about both of them and McLaren besides being a fan of those guys? It's because last year, 2019, McLaren improved. They shocked the Formula 1 world, scoring points. Carlos Sainz getting the podium in third place at Interlagos in Brazil when when Hamilton got penalized. Um, yeah, McLaren was getting some points. Like, I believe they are improving after Fernando Alonso left uh, Formula One. And who and I believe when Stoffa Van Dorn. Was he in Ferrari? Was he in McLaren 2018? I don't remember. But whoever it was. I think it was Vendor. Correct me if I'm wrong. But when McLaren hired Carl Sainz and Lando Norris, I don't think anybody expected McLaren to be consistent again. Man, this is going to be also awesome. I, I didn't mean to say also. I meant awesome. So, the exciting thing about 2021 for McLaren is that I believe McLaren's going to have Mercedes power once again. I say again because in its thousands, um, when they were winning a lot of races, um, 
when Hamilton was in the team as well, they had Mercedes power. And then they started to struggle when they do not have it. But um, but hearing, but I, I, the news happened last year about Mac, Mercedes power and McLaren. So McLaren power, uh, Mercedes power and McLaren, I think they will probably start winning again. I'm not sure. I think I expect more consistent finishes and more points and maybe some wins. For 2021, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a good decision to see McLaren with Mercedes power again next year. So I believe Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo are going to win some races in the future with Mercedes power. So because my my favorite drivers, uh, Ricciardo and Norris, um, I guess I'm going to be a McLaren fan, I guess. I'm going to be hopping on that bandwagon for that reason. So, yeah. Cheers to that. I could have done shoey, but whatever. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Racing Topics with Ian Perez. Oh, silly see And guess what? Silly season has started. And the Formula One season of 2020 has not that's the crazy part about silly season of what's going on right now. That's the crazy part. I really, I can't wait to see Formula One in Red Bull Ring in July. If, if the pandemic is not really a big deal, like it was back in March and April. Just don't do stupid shit, people. Stay healthy, take care of yourself, stay inside, put on your mask, just protect yourself. Don't touch anything with your dirty ass hands. Don't lick anything. Just don't be fucking stupid. And then racing season will be back on. We'll be seeing Formula One start their season finally. IndyCar in June. IMSA continuing. Etc. Just don't be stupid. You you want your shit back? Like you want your shit back like it was before the pandemic. Do what I say. Don't be fucking stupid. There. Okay, so. As for Sebastian Vettel, I really hope he finds a ride. If he doesn't, I want to thank Sebastian Vettel for everything he's done when he was a Red Bull and Ferrari. Oh yeah, Toro Rosso, uh, when he first started. He's been a great driver. I know he struggled last year. I don't think he deserves to get bashed on because regardless, he's a four-time champion with a lot of wins. I think he deserves more respect. Like, I know his Ferrari uh, days were not the best days. Like, not as good as Red Bull. But I think he deserves more respect because he's a legend as well. So, yeah. With that being said, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ian Press 25 and Ian Press 48 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, Ian Esco 48 dash Ian Asia Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. And yeah. And thank you guys for supporting E Nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.